So I'm going to move on now to the guitar sim. So I have also put this on iLearn for download. So in this session, it's just a single track, which is a guitar that has been jacked straight into the interface input. So a number of people were wanting to record electric guitar or electric bass, and they wanted it to sound okay and not sound like it was just plugged straight into the interface. <laughs> <laughs> which it is, uh, and in which case I recommended the use of the guitar amplifier simulator plugin that is in your Pro Tools install. So in this session, very simple, all I have is a DI'd guitar, so a guitar that's just plugged straight in the front of the interface and recorded, so obviously not through an amp. I'll talk about this later, but I do have some effects set up when we get that far a delay and a reverb as sends but let's forget about those for the moment so let's just deal with what we have here at the outset which is just a di'd guitar and this is what it would sound like <laughs> okay so that's just plugged straight in to the interface that's a pretty dry sound it's just the sound of the pickups going straight into the uh, interface so what I've done in this session that you've downloaded you can see I've bypassed a couple of plugins the first one is an amplifier simulator 11 that's in your standard install right so let's unbypass that for a minute and then make this active so this is basically a plugin that simulates the sound of a guitar amp it's through digital modeling this is a model of a Vox AC30 amplifier. Let's just hear what it sounds like with a modelled amplifier on it. Turn it off. Okay, so it sounds a bit more like a guitar going through an amp now. All right. So you can see that it has things like speaker breakup, you can control how much distortion is there from the loudspeaker model, you can pick which microphone is being used on the speaker cabinet, at the moment it's a condenser, a Neumann U87 mic, and then whether that microphone is on axis or off axis to the speaker. So that should make sense to you that now because of all that microphone theory that we did at the beginning of the unit, right? You know what microphone axis is. So. Uh, if you look through this, you'll see that there are a whole bunch of different presets and different amplifiers that you can try. You know, Fender, Marshall, all kinds of different ones, right? So all different variations of clean, um, you know, crunch. through to very heavy and quite distorted. Okay, so that gives you just an idea of some of the high gain options. So there's a huge variety of tones here you can explore and go through all the different amp models and experiment with different guitar sounds. So I've got two types of effects set up. So I've got a chorus set up as an insert, which is a bit like if you see a guitarist playing, then they'll often have pedals on the floor that are going into the amplifier. So you might have a chorus pedal, for example, so in which case you could turn this on. Okay, so I've got a chorus effect on that clean guitar there now. So we're starting to produce this guitar sound a little bit more so it sounds not just like a dry thing going through straight into my interface. So that's a clean sound through an amplifier with a chorus pedal effect on it. And then I can introduce some 
studio effects if I wanted to. You'll see that I've got a send and return setup here. We're familiar with this. Um, we've got two aux inputs with our delay and reverb on it and a send to each. So let's put some reverb on it. Okay, and then we could put some delay on it as well. Okay, so now we're starting to produce this guitar sound towards something that's got a bit of atmosphere and a bit of colour and we're doing it by using a guitar amp simulator and we can use an insert effect like it, like it was a guitar pedal and then we can use studio effects like this delay and reverb to give it a sense of space and a sense of expansiveness within a mix.